If you want a Galaxy Watch, be it the 4, 4 Classic, 6, 6 Classic, 5, any of these, there's big news for you. The One UI 6 for watch update is finally here and turns out it's a big update, probably the biggest Galaxy Watch update ever and brings a truckload of new features that you'll want to try out and like always, the best one for last. Which reminds me of that poor little red button that's just there, just waiting for that one who click on it. The question is, are you that one? <laughs> So starting off, the new One UI 6 for watch update brings a number of UI changes that hardcore Galaxy watch users will for sure notice. First of all, Samsung's One UI Sans font is now the default font, which I think looks sleeker and more modern everywhere. I also noticed a subtle change in the animation when you swipe down to access the quick settings. Yeah, I'm a sucker for details. This update also brings a number of changes to tiles and the first one is something that I definitely love. Do you know how you can add a ton of tiles here and going to the latter ones can be a pain. No matter how hard you swipe, it only goes to the next one. That's changing in this new update. Now, a strong swipe scrolls through multiple tiles. Yeah, better anger management. That apart, the tiles also look way better now. See the battery tile, it looks less cluttered, the icons are shifted with a focus on the battery values and like how the alarm tile, the weather and other tiles have a lot more colour, looks way better now and some of these tiles are better in terms of functionality and details. Like see the weather tile, it now has these circular graphs at the bottom showing you precipitation, UV or AQI readings along with humidity. But what's also cool is you can customize tiles to show daily and hourly forecast, sunrise and sunset details, rain expectations. Yep, this wasn't present before. Now there's more. The world clock tile now shows you weather as well. There are a couple of new tiles. There's this new dual clock tile so you can track two time zones with ease. There's a new calculator tile that not only brings you the calculator, but also has this handy unit conversion feature. And you can also calculate tips now from right here. Now let's face it, the battery on these Galaxy watches isn't something extraordinary. So thankfully, this new update brings some super handy battery features. So now the Galaxy Watch predicts the time remaining before the battery dies based on your usage habits. Let's say it dies and you put it on charge. In that case, it can now turn on as soon as it has enough battery and also shows you the charging info until it is full. In the new battery usage section, you can now see the battery usage per app. So, you know, you can kill the naughty ones. There are also improvements in the power saving mode. It now decreases the brightness further to extend battery life and there's an additional limit health feature which basically turns off things like auto workout detection, high and low heart rate alerts and more. This update also brings a number of practical changes which make a huge difference in day-to-day -day usage of the watch. So starting off, earphones can now directly auto-connect your Galaxy Watch so you don't need to fumble with your phone anymore while you're safe working out. Also, if you're using a timer, playing music or you're on a call during your workout, then this ongoing activities icon can show all of them at one place. Yep, unlike before when you could just have two tasks running. There are also some big improvements to the sleep mode and the theater mode which we use so often. The sleep mode now turns off the touch to wake feature automatically and and you can also schedule it directly from the watch. Theater mode is also way better. Now you can set the number of hours you want it to be turned on very handy. And it's crazy this wasn't there already. Next up, if you have a Samsung phone, the modes and routines app lets you control things like AOD, raise wrist to wake, touch screen to wake and more in the different modes. Samsung's also added privacy dashboard under privacy settings, which lets you see which data has been used by which apps in the past one day. You can also see which apps can send notifications. And these are things you would always do. But the cool part is now you don't need a phone. Every Everything works on the watch. So what's a new update without new watch faces, right? Well, this update brings number of watch faces from the Watch Ultra and Watch 7 to these older Galaxy watches. First up is the Ultra Info Board, which is way better than the older Info Board. It packs two extra complications, has this sunset and sunrise times at the bottom. And along with bringing all of these features, it looks very futuristic with all of these nine presets. But if you're a man of minimalism, then you have this simple digital watch face, which just shows hours and minutes and, you know, sprinkling seconds on it as they pass. Then there's this spatial number watch face, which basically is the R digit covered with an analog clock and and this one's my favorite because I like how it responds to touches. 
And with these new watch faces aren't the only new features that have come from the Galaxy Watch 7 and Watch Ultra. There's a lot more. First up, the older Galaxy watches now have the AI suggested replies feature. So you get a text, you just use this button to let the AI respond for you and works with any messaging app. Very useful. And now you can also add your most used and favorite emojis to send as a quick response to messages. The older Galaxy watches also get the double pin gesture. I know it was present in the Galaxy watches as universal gestures, but this is way better than before. I mean, now you can easily take calls from it when your hands are, you know, busy, play pause music with it, take photos, you get the idea. Another cool Watch 7 feature that has arrived is workout routines. It basically lets you create your own exercise routine. For example, I have said 10 minutes of warm up, then two minutes of walking, a 10 minute break, very important, two minutes of cycling, and finally a cool down. Yep, a pretty solid workout. The older Galaxy watches also get the energy score feature, which shows your score depending on your activities, rest, your sleep, everything. The sleep tracking has improved too. The sleep page now shows you your average heart rate graph, and average respiratory rate during sleep. It also lets you know the amount of time you took to fall asleep. There's also the sleep apnea feature which hasn't arrived in older Galaxy watches in India, but it should soon considering it's rolling out to US and Korean users. Look also and then I know for a fact that a lot of people have the Galaxy Watch 4 and the Galaxy Watch 6 because of the crazy deals on them in sales and it's just great to see that these older Galaxy watches are getting such a solid big update. I mean I like how this update brings a lot of these subtle changes that improve the user experience a lot. I like how it lets you do a a lot of things from the watch itself now and it's just great to see Samsung bring all the latest Galaxy watch features to its older smart watches. That is really good. I mean to give you an idea, Apple brought the double pin gesture to the Apple Watch Series 9 and the Apple Watch Ultra 2 but it did not bring that simple gesture even on the original Ultra. I mean that's just sad. Anyway make sure to update your watch, try these features and let me know what you think in the comment section below and if you've made it till here and you've still not subscribed, I swear you should be ashamed. Like very ashamed. Ashamed. I'll still see you in the next one.